If you own an Amazon Echo Show, you probably got the 5-inch version, the 8-inch version, or the 10-inch version. But on today's video, we're going to take a look at this massive 15.6-inch screen. The great thing about this one is that you can display all your different photos of your family, you can set up all your different notes and reminders, and this one has Fire TV built in so you can use all the applications. But there's a few things that you're going to need if you're not planning on mounting it on the wall. For example, you're going to need some type of mount if you're going to put it on your desk. And if you plan on using the Fire TV features, you're going to need the remote control. And all these are sold separate, and I'll leave all the links in the description below so you can set up this whole system. With that being said, let's get right into it so I can tell you everything that you need to know. So let's go and open this up and see what's in the box. Well, first of all, you get this massive screen. And it has this cover over it. We'll just go ahead and peel that off. As you can see here, it's a little bit thicker screen. And if you look on the back of it, this is where you're going to mount the included wall mount bracket if you don't want to buy a stand like I did. It comes with some basic instruction books. Here's the wall mount bracket. And it comes with a 30 watt power supply right here that plugs into the back of it. And you get screws and a template. So I decided to go with this E15 mount. And the reason I like it is because it had some pretty good reviews on Amazon. And it comes with this piece that mounts on the back of it. And I like the fact that it comes with a metal bracket so it's really well built. Before I put everything together, here's the Amazon remote controls. And this remote controls come with the batteries as well as some instruction books. And it works with Bluetooth so you can do the voice commands to get through everything just like you would on a television. So I got everything all mounted up and keep in mind the power cord and a service port is right below here. So you need to install that power cord first if you decide to get a bracket like this. The reason I chose this particular stand is because it allows you to move it from side to side. It also allows you to tilt it. And if you need to, you can put it in vertical. So you have all kinds of options. Now let me tell you a little bit about the screen and some of the functionality, and then we'll get it all programmed and ready to go. Now take a look at the back of it. You have speakers on both sides of it so you can get that stereo sound. There's some microphones right here so it can pick you up throughout the room. And on top of it, you can find some additional microphones. There's a plus and minus for the volume. There's a mute button for the microphone. And over here, you're going to find a slider so you can disable the camera on the front of it. So when you slide this over, you can see it completely disables the camera. And it has this nice border so it symbolizes a picture frame, especially if you have it on the wall. We're not going to go over everything, but here's a few highlights. If you slide your finger down from the top, you can get to your settings, your brightness, notifications. And down here, you have all kinds of different options like your photo frame, communication, music. So you have access to everything you need. Now, if you don't like seeing all these different icons on there, you can go into settings. And from here, you can customize everything. It has Bluetooth, so you can connect it to external speakers. This is where you can um, get access to the Fire TV settings, your profiles, your clocks, sound. So you have plenty of options here. Plus, you can use the Amazon Alexa application. You also get these widgets. So if you slide over, you have a widget gallery. And inside of here, you can customize all these different widgets according to what you're going to use the most often. So for example, if you want to have your smart home right here, you can go ahead and press on that. And now by adding a widget, you can control your lights or anything that you have connected to it. I showed you some of the basic features on it, but let me show you how to get everything up and running so we can go over some of the more advanced features that this has to offer to see if it's the right product for you. One thing I noticed is that it's very responsive. As you can see, it just scrolls very easy, just like a nice tablet. The first thing you would do is go ahead and select your language just by touching the screen. And then you want to enter your Wi-Fi credentials. Once everything entered, go ahead and press on Done. Now, if you have an Amazon account, you want to go ahead and log in. But do not choose your phone number if it's not on your Amazon account because it will create a new account. So just go ahead and press an email just like you would log into the application. You want to choose where you're going to locate it. In this case, we're going to put it in the living room. You also have a name that you can change, and we're going to call this Echo 15 so I can easily identify it later on when I need to connect different devices. After the update is completed, you can choose what type of photos that you want to display. In some cases, you can use the Amazon app or you can use the Amazon photo app and you can upload your own pictures of your family. You can also set up profiles for more people in your home. And with the built-in camera, you can monitor your home when you're away, but that's an option that you can leave on or turn off. You have parental controls for the Fire TV built-in. And now the device is almost done and setting everything up. Now that it's connected, you can start using it. Now you have a basic of what it's all about and how to set it up. What can it do? And that's what we're going to talk about now. Now, I did mention earlier you can use this for leaving notes for your family. So let's take a look at that. 
So I set up these widgets and over here you have a to-do and you can put all your shopping list right there. Down here, you can leave a sticky note. So if you press on that, you can add text or you can use the built-in camera to send a video message. So whenever someone touches it, they can watch that message. And a lot of families out there are very active. So what I recommend is set up a calendar for the whole entire family to share. And the great thing is that this Amazon Echo 15 will show all those events. So with this widget here, you can just press on it. You can choose a date and then you can add what the event is. So whenever you get to that date, it will show that to the whole entire family and it'll show on your smart device as well if you have that set up that way. Now earlier I mentioned there's all kinds of settings. So whenever you're not using this, it's gonna show pictures if you have it set up that way. It's also gonna show you different news events and things like that, but you can customize that. So what you would do is slide your finger down from the top. You will go to settings and then you will go over here to where it shows home screen or home content. Under this, you can check these little boxes over here to the side. So anything that you don't want to see on that home screen, you just simply uncheck it. And there's a lot of different options in here. So it will rotate a lot of different things if you don't check that off. If you have an Amazon Prime account, you do have the option to add music. But if you have a paid service, you can add Apple Music, the podcast, Spotify, Pandora, iHeartRadio, Deezer, and also recommend on the screen itself that you want to go ahead and download these different applications. That way you have an interface to see everything. Some other features that this screen has is a web browser is from Amazon. They call it the Silk browser. Now, since it doesn't have a keyboard and a mouse, you can just use your touch screen just like a tablet, which is cool. And if you're a TV fan, you can even go check out my new website that I put together just for you guys, where you can upload photos, videos, as well as have a conversation and ask me some questions. And the URL is 4ktvchat.com. You go ahead and hit go. In here, again, you can create an account, log in, and upload your different profiles or anything you want to talk about that has to do with TVs. Now, the great thing about having a Echo device in your home is that it can control your lighting system. If you get compatible devices, you can look at any of the cameras in your home, especially for cameras like Ring, but you got to make sure that it's compatible. You also can set up reminders, alarms, and timers. And let me give you a few examples. What's the weather like in Knoxville, Tennessee? Right now in Knoxville, Tennessee, it's 52 degrees Fahrenheit. Tell me a joke. How many software developers does it take to change a light bulb? Zero. A light bulb is a hardware problem. <laughs> ah, the jokes just keep getting better. What's the phone number for Home Depot in New York City? The Home Depot, located on West 23rd Street in New York. Echo, turn on kitchen lights. So as you see there, it is turning on the kitchen lights right here from this display. Echo, show me studio camera. And see on this screen, it's showing the camera that I have set up here on the back end so we can always monitor it when we're not here. So that's a cool feature to have as well. The last thing I want to show you is the difference in size. So this is an eight inch Echo Show. And you can see this is a 15.6 inch and look at the difference there. So with this particular screen, you now have a TV that you can put throughout your home. You also have a camera that you can do video chats with. And the great thing about this one is with the Fire TV, now you can get access to more applications. If you guys are interested, I'll leave all the links in the description below. I'm Tech Steve. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.